Hello and welcome to Awesome Bros. This week, a very special beer! As always. Why is it special? Uh, well, all the beers are special, Chris, because people put so much love into beer making that they must be special. And in this one, uh, there's actually a lot of love into getting it. Yeah, they- oh! oh, oh. So, oh. Uh, this particular beer is from Il Farmstead in Vermont. Uh, so last week we did the uh, the Eddie Topper, exactly. which was great. It was an awesome beer. Uh, and these guys are, I guess, as notorious as uh, Alchemist, yeah. if not more. A lot more. I'm a lot more. Sure. Yeah, because uh, for a, a lot, of, I don't know how many years. And you shared they've the been, with yourself. They've huh. been. They've been. Um, you're such an ass. <laughs> oh, I'm not the one who poured the beer for myself first. <laughs> Fuck off. So, um, they've won a few awards, a few, I think more than that, like, because at the actual brewery, there's a row of medals for a uh, world best brewery. So they, okay. they won, like, a few, like, a few a years few, in a row. Like a lot of years in yeah, a row kind of thing. Exactly, nice. yeah. So I don't know how much, but it feels like a brewery with a lot, a lot of background and a lot of knowledge behind it. And they've been kind of like, it's a farm. Out there, it took me an hour and a half to get there. To get there and to find and it. It's, it's basically back roads until you find it. Nice. Yeah. There's no sign. There's, there's no sign. Google sure. Maps. Yeah, Google Maps and then find, find the, the, find the yeah. farm. And you also told me a little tidbit where when you got there, you went to park somewhere and someone came to tell you, we're, we're expecting a lot of people. Could you please park like yeah. as close to one side as possible? Yeah. So even though it's remote, it's still very popular and it's still exactly. a very touristy attraction. Well, Vermont in general has been growing in the beer uh, community, beer population. The craft beers have been getting great there uh, for years. And because it's so close to us, it's a very big touristy place for us in Canada to go because yep. it's what, uh, five hours? No, it took me three hours and a half to See, get there. Three hours and a half to get there. Yeah. Uh, and then another hour, I guess, to get to the first brewery or close Depending to. Depending on where you go because yeah. Burlington's like, yeah, it's a 45 minute drive. So after that, you get Stowe and Daniel Farmstead is at Greensboro, which is a little, little remote town, uh, 45 minutes from Stowe. So it's nice. totally, there's nothing. So, nothing else than. Ill then Farmstead. Ill Farmstead, which is which is great, which is something we've been seeing in Canada as well, small towns with uh, with breweries in them, yeah, uh, and that is also an awesome concept. So uh, the brewery basically started a couple years ago, many yeah. many years ago. They've developed their beers, uh, and it's interesting because the logo they have, which is this guy right over here, yeah, they actually took from their great great grandfather's old tavern. So they took wow. the same symbol, the same logo, and then they opened their brewery with it, which I thought was a nice tidbit. Yep. It was a nice little concept that they would uh, do something like that. Every beer names are related to the the, the Hill family. Nice! So, okay, so that's why this is the Clara. Exactly, and there's the Harcher, there's the Edward. So like, it's all, like the beer names come from the, actually, the actual family names. Are we that recording? is pretty cool. Yes, we're Sorry. recording. Yeah. It's kind of like hiding the recording thing. But yeah, yeah um, of little but faith. the reason why I took this beer is because I'm a big fan of grisettes. Yeah, you've been and, talking about them for, yeah, for years now. And yeah. This one got me really melt watering. I was waiting in line because you need to wait in line to buy your beer over there. Uh, and I saw all those wonderful barrels. Like you wait in line in the barrel room. Okay. Oh, nice. Buy your beer. That's so, awesome. and I saw that on the light, I'm like, a gazette, oh my god, and there's a gazette, oh my god, it's one of the world's best breweries, and they have a gazette, oh my god, so, uh, yeah, I, I have boners every time I see a gazette, so that's what that means, but, um, I, I think it's, it, it, literally, it's one of the best gazettes I've ever had, it has the it balance, is, it I is really, really want, really good. you get yeah. the, the nice notes of, it's, it feels like on the nose, you get this, that nice yeast character to it, but it's clean, super clean beer, you can see it. So grisettes usually super light. This one's at five point two. Yeah, so it's a little so it's a higher in alcohol. Higher, than no, no, it's most. at four. It's at four. four? Okay. Sorry, yeah. Um, five point two is the other one I have in the fridge. Oh, okay, perfect. But yes, yeah, four. So it's right on point for the style, but also it feels super light. You get yeah. the, you still get that nice yeasty character to it, but also it feels super fresh because of the hopping that the uh, usual grisettes have. And um, you get the funk out of it. Yeah, there's a little more tartness to it. It's exactly. a little more on the, the other ones I had. Uh, almost so, a, like um, almost a Brett, mm -hmm. almost not quite, but you do yeah. get that character, the tartness, a little bit of acidity from there. Yeah. Uh, but it still it adds a lot to the flavor for sure, and yeah. a lot to the drinkability as well. And it feels super fresh. 
because this is the story behind the Grisette, and you'll see on the uh, Craft Beer 101 episode. Actually, you have seen if you watched I've it seen. on Tuesday, which I hope you did. Yes. I really do. So you Two know everything about done. Grisette, so you know this. Exactly. So I won't go in depth with that, but <laughs> on the style, they are right on point. And from the other Grisettes that I drank, which means five Grisettes, uh, it's my favorite so far. Well, it's, it's interesting about the yeah. right on point for the style. Yeah, because, because I as you will know much. from Tuesday, or you will have known, yeah. uh, it's it's hard to get a beer on point on style, considering that for a while the didn't beer really know what style, how to make it, because it got lost. The rest yeah. of it got lost, <laughs> and, and like there was no grisettes at all on the yeah. surface of the planet Earth for like a hundred years. So the fact that breweries yeah. in the States, uh, in America in general, took this style and decided to go with it and yeah. to, to reinvent it, it is great. It's awesome. It means that we can have uh, grisettes and readily available and close to what it should be and create. Yeah. If it's not exactly like it was, mm -hmm. it's it's a great style and people are playing on it. Yeah, and, and I love it. it. Like everything I said, it feels fresh. You get the nice, like, little, little yeast character. You said a little bit more funk and a little yeah. tartness from it. Feels fresh. I get a little bit of peppery flavors, lemony, uh, a little bit out of it. A little it. lemony. Not for too sure. much, but it's a blend of all yeah. those flavors. So it's super nice. It's really refreshing. At 4%, I can crush easily four bottles of that in one night. Well, challenge accepted. Challenge my accepted. Yeah, I just we'll need to get more that. bottles yeah, of we'll that. So, if you uh, want to send four bottles to Chris, we will film the entire session of him drinking the four bottles one after the other. Uh, and post it. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be yeah. very interesting. I'm looking forward to it, actually. I love when people <laughs> say things like this. Yeah. And then Fuck. they have to do it. Yeah, I'll okay. it. Um, like if if you beach. do buy the Clara, please do enjoy it responsibly and enjoy <laughs> it with some friends. Share it. Don't be a nice. Share your old farmstead beers. Because this brewery is truly, uh, like so far, one of my favorites. Um, and it's not just speaking of I drank the beer, but also my like old the experience, whole experience with at it. the brewery. Max knows it. Every time I come, I come back from brewery, I'm like, that was good. Beer was good, but the experience out there was amazing. Mm -hmm. And Il Farmstead, I got to say, felt like home. I went there, felt like home. It's super nice. It's big. It's big. Feels big. It's a big brewery. They, they brew good beers. It's amazing, but felt like home. We were on the farm. I was with the dog. Enjoyed the beer with friends and everything. There was a lot of people, but I never felt overwhelmed by the number of people. I always felt really like at home. At Ill Farmstead. Well, in that case, cheers to so, Ill Farmstead for creating a great brewery environment and creating great beers. And an awesome experience all around. So you'll see in my, uh, we'll do a little Vermont yeah. trip video, so more footage of what happened in Ill Farmstead. I didn't film the whole thing because you feel like an ass with a camera, so I prefer to enjoy it by myself. So if you do want to go to Ill Farmstead, do it. Well, actually, it's definitely totally do. It. If you go to Vermont, Make it your stop. Yeah. So cheers to Hill Farm Tet. Cheers, cheers to, to you guys. Cheers to, you cheers guys. to Chris. And, and cheers to this delicious beer. This is Clara. And yeah. leave a like and subscribe. That that just I, I know we need to plug it in, but it always helps support. It the really show at the does. Same time, so, so if you can share the video on your social medias, your various things, it really helps us. And we want to make more of these videos, and we need you guys yeah. to give us feedback. Yeah. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you don't like. That's what we want to hear from you guys. So yeah. cheers. And see you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Nice. Je suis pas déçu. C'est vraiment bon. C'est...